Between 1808 and 1820, the United States gradually outlawed the importation of enslaved people and gave the Navy authority to capture slave ships, which were classified as pirates. Other nations continued to participate in the slave trade for some years after, leading to the international law case, the Antelope. In 1819, a privateer sailing under a Venezuelan flag left Baltimore with a crew of American sailors. It changed the ship's name to the Arriganta and went on a rampage down the coast of Africa, attacking American and Portuguese slave ships and taking on their African captives. It finally captured the Spanish vessel, the Antelope, which also carried captured Africans. The two ships sailed together to Brazil, where the Arriganta was wrecked. The crew and Africans were moved to the Antelope. The ship sailed to Florida, which was still a Spanish colony. Captain Jackson of the revenue cutter Dallas spotted the Antelope and thought it might be attempting to smuggle slaves into the U.S. Jackson ordered the Antelope to Savannah for adjudication. The ship at this point was carrying about 280 Africans. Spain and Portugal both demanded that the Africans be returned to them. Jackson filed a claim for either a bounty to be paid if the Africans were deemed free or the salvage value of property lost at sea. The United States argued that the Africans had been brought from foreign parts against U.S. law and were entitled to their freedom. The district court dismissed the United States' claim, except as it applied to the Africans who'd been on board the captured American vessel. It divided the rest of the Africans between the Spanish and Portuguese claimants. The United States appealed to the Supreme Court.